If you're a germaphobe and you hate germs, there's mm. some places in your home that you need to stay away from. I know. Even if you're the type that thinks, oh, I've dusted everything, mm-hmm. I clean every Saturday, my house is spotless, there are still some areas yeah. that are likely to be germy. The 10 germiest places in your home, number one, uh, underside of rugs. Okay. You have, a, you have an area rug? Yeah. Uh, underneath that, is yeah, all the, you, it collects. You, you vacuum the yeah, top of the rug, right. and then you move the rug aside to sweep underneath it. But do you ever really clean underneath the rug? No, you don't. No. And, and it kind of just hangs there. Uh, blinds, yeah. of course, collecting blinds dust. Blinds are, are a pain. So you have to like dust each one individually. I'm mm. not a fan of it. Um, credit cards. Okay. Yeah. Uh, germs handled by other people. You go out to eat. You hand yeah. them a credit card. They go off. They pay. They bring it back. You have yep. multiple Always hands Always touching on it. it. Uh, kitchen trash can. Yeah. Think about the raw raw foods you're throwing out. Mm-hmm. Uh, packages of raw meat. Yeah. If if you want the proof, just right. take out the the garbage the can or the the trash bag itself mm-hmm. and look at the bottom of the trash can. If mm-hmm. you haven't washed it in a while, it's mm-hmm. disgusting down there. Um, we've got plants. This is surprising, but yeah, they say outdoor plants are cleaned off by the rain, but mm-hmm. household plants become caked with dust. Right. So you can use water and a soft cloth to wash the, off their individual leaves. I guess. I guess. Uh, sure. Your your purses. Think about. Uh, where where your purse goes and where it ends up on the floor mm-hmm. in your car I actually just heard something know? not too long ago that one of the germiest things that you come into contact with every single day is coins mm-hmm. and think of how many loose coins you have in oh, your yeah. purse um the top of your refrigerator oh I don't even know what's up there because I don't Dust. see it so I don't care about exactly. it exactly if you ever accidentally touch it while you're like grabbing for your oh. recipe books or something lots of dust up toothbrush there. holder is nasty <sighs> it's disgusting yeah. but I know it my girlfriend uses one of those um those those covers the top of your toothbrush Mm -hmm. like one of the travel ones that you might use but she uses it all the time Mm. and i think it's a good idea i would recommend anyone getting one of those for your home toothbrush the reason you never buy one of these at a a yard sale the vacuum cleaner and uh, their brushes and attachments oh Oh, yeah i mean they literally are to clean up dirt and germs so yeah obviously they're dirty too. and then lastly a yoga mat if you have one of those exercise mat i don't have a yoga mat you you sweat on it you don't ever wash it or or, and you, you put it on the floor Exactly. So it's kind of dirty. Yeah, and then you're going to go work out at the gym, uh-huh. and you've got one of those mats. Oh, yeah, don't bring that to the gym. No one cleans those, you know. No, not many. Not more, well. More info on the 10 dirtiest places in your home right now. Yes, FM, Facebook, Twitter at 967-YES-FM, and the Mercy Morning page at yesfm.com.